hi guys welcome back to my channel i told you that if there's any hot gist i will be back it's midnight and i am here to give you the hot gist about this fight this hot fight anyways if this is your first time here here's your cue to subscribe and join this beautiful community that we have here don't forget please help me give this video a thumbs up and then yeah just subscribe and comment so anyways as you can see um yolanda is at it but i think it's safe to say that she met her match you know yolanda in her regular way of just attacking people and the people seem to just let her pass or let her be because her voice is loud but i love how laima is answering her without losing her cold she's so classy about her delivery she's dancing around and she's still re um you know responding to her so i think that that is kind of getting her more agitated as you can see it's such a heated conversation so anyways um laima was cooking for the house in the kitchen and yolanda came and started frying eggs which is a similar thing that had happened between yolanda and lerato if you remember so um laima was like oh is it that you don't want me to cook for you because i'm cooking for the house and then you're frying eggs and yolanda goes off and says yes i don't want you to cook for me in fact never ever cook for me again in your life so of course laima took offense finished serving the food dishing it for to the rest of the housemates and decides not to give laima food and um, sorry yolanda food however when they were having a conversation on the table she was asked that oh why didn't you cook for yolanda and she said this is what yolanda said to her but at that point laima was like oh now i feel bad and i have to go and let me go and give her my food and that is how yolanda continues to go off and says no why i know what you are trying to do i know what you are trying to do you cannot fool me i am this i am that and starts calling her all sorts of names start shading her basically using jared of course to insult her that you're following jared around jared is can't wait to go to the next girl now he's after else after mpumi obviously he's not giving him face now he's chasing else around the guy is going to swallow you all sorts and laima was like well they didn't swallow me say he's going to swallow your ass all you came to do in this house is to suck dick all you have um all you do is men you have a talent showcase your talent instead of following like a man around and sucking dick you are better than that and laima was like do you want me to teach you if that is what you want to learn how to do i'm here to teach you look at the way you were even kissing willy like opening your mouth and just sucking his tongue like you don't know how to do these things i'm happy to teach you so obviously laima too stood her ground she held her own and both of them kept on going at each other as you can see that is jared in the middle jared was trying to be the peacemaker and trying to put things in order was trying to cajole laima into going downstairs even slapped her in the ass i'm like hmm, this type of uh, romance anyway sha tried to talk to her to go downstairs but she wasn't going to go downstairs without calling without you know saying all her own words back to yolanda she even called yolanda a cow and yolanda like cow that is me guys yolanda is a lot like the housemates <laughs> i don't know how they cope next she started with mpumi she insulted mpumi too she even said she later she started talking to makeke who obviously has the singing problem he has to sing because of his um dagger i think that was thrown at him so he can't talk he's not allowed to talk he's only allowed to sing so she was telling makeke everything in fact she even said that um for mpumi she has mpumi is not ready for her because she's still going to get at mpumi listen to what she said mpumi thinks i'm afraid of her i see she thinks i'm scared of her and i'm just waiting for the moment i'll deal with her properly also 
so guys you can see that Ro yolanda is on the roll she's ready to deal with everybody it was laima then in pumi in fact she said that she used to think of laima as her niece laima is actually the last person she wanted to um fight with in the house like she actually likes laima because she reminds her of her niece but now that that niece thing is out of the door she's going to hit back she's going to hit back at laima so apparently all what laima was saying was getting to her so she's like she's going to hit back she's not going to do anything to her or anything but she knows what to do and laima is going to feel it because she's going to i'm just like after all these plenty things you said you are still not satisfied abby and everything but anyways like i said sometimes it's not about who makes the loudest noise because laima was just jabbing her subtle jabs as well but she's the one who's always looking for trouble like she's so loud i mean sometimes it's cute we understand like when she's attacking papa ghost we're like oh it's about time somebody told him the fact but when there's drama everywhere because of just you you are the one fighting with mpumi with lerato with laima with papa ghost then there's a problem because why is it always you caught up in the drama so anyways that's the drama of yolanda tonight see she seems to have a lot of energy for um drama and laima is there for her so on to some more exciting gist um so the wives of jared aka umpumi and laima are getting along as you can see i know yeah. from the bottom of my heart i know you're a genuine person you're a very good person and i always said i see you as my little sister i always called you my dynamite <laughs> so guys in an interesting twist of events in case you do not know Umpumi chose Laima as the person to share the HOH lounge with her. If you want to know the details of that, you have to watch it in my previous video so that you can get the details of that. No need to go into it again. But anyways, they met upstairs in the lounge and both of them bonded um, over that. And Umpumi was like, I know you're surprised, but I genuinely care about you. Um, I think you're a genuine person. Forget that we fight or that we like the same guy. I see you as my little sister. I actually know that you are a real person. You are not a bad person. And I'm like, there's no point for us to be fighting over this guy. And while they were talking, Jared was calling Laima. I was like, babe, babe. And both of them said, fuck you. Trust them. Pumi's voice was the loudest. And she was like, F you, bitch. You know, she was sharp, very you know dramatic about it and both of them were hugging each other and laughing and all is well in the triangle of laima jared and mpumi for now because we know them we know them we are not fooled by this drama so anyways that's all the after nomination drama for this evening um i just thought to let you people this morning actually because it's past 12 <laughs> so i just thought to bring it to you guys please subscribe give this video a thumbs up please thumbs up <laughs> help me to help you um thank you so much guys for watching and um, if you haven't watched the other videos please go and watch them you'll watch the nominations gist and you can also you know catch up on um who nominated who actually the details are there so guys that's it i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching thumbs up and subscribe bye guys